Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at a few more angle arc theorems. You may recall from prior videos that we took a look at angle arc relationships and explored the formulas to find angle measures if the vertex was inside the circle, the vertex was on the circle, or the vertex was outside the circle. And you may recall that it, the angle measure of an inscribed angle is one half of its intercepted arc. Well, we have a theorem that says if two inscribed angles or two tangent chord angles intercept the same arc, then those two angles will be congruent. Well, that should totally make sense because we know that the formula for an inscribed angle is one half of its intercepted arc. So two, two inscribed angles are intercepting the same arc, and we use the same formula, it makes sense that, that those two angles would be congruent. And you can see here in the second diagram, same works for an inscribed angle, like angle BCD, and a tangent chord angle. The inscribed angle and the tangent chord angle, angle ABD, intercept the same arc. So, of course, if their formulas are the same, then we should get the same answer. And, of course, we do. So, we would know that this tangent chord angle and angle C, this inscribed angle, are congruent because they intercept the same arc. Extending that a little further, then we know that if two inscribed or tangent chord angles intercept congruent arcs, then those two angles are congruent. So here you can see inscribed angle E, or CED, intercepts arc CD, and tangent chord angle FBA intercepts arc BF, so we're intercepting different set of points different arcs, but those arcs are congruent. And since our formula for each of the angles is the same, then it would be logical that because they intercept congruent arcs, that those angles would be congruent. An additional theorem says an angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. So we could look at this in angle B, pardon me, angle A, B, C, or angle B. It's inscribed in a semicircle. CA is a diameter, and arc AC then is 180 degrees. Well, if an inscribed angle measures half of its intercepted arc, the intercepted arc is a semicircle, 180 degrees. Therefore, the inscribed angle must be a right angle. So, and you could, you will also hear guys talk about, you know, if a triangle is inscribed in a semicircle, then it must be a right triangle. And finally, our last theorem: the sum of the measures of a tangent tangent angle and its minor arc equals 180. So angle A and arc BC must add up to 180 degrees. They are supplements. And we have seen that in the previous video in which we were calculating the measure of the angle is one half the major arc minus the minor arc. And as that works out, we find out those two are supplementary. And we'll see that again in uh, future exercises, and we'll be able to prove that. So let's take a look at a sample problem. What kind of problems are we going to see uh, here that apply this knowledge? We might have a diagram that says, you know, A, B, and C are all tangent points of triangle X, Y, Z, and we might want to find angle Z. 
Well, we're given angle Y is 48, and arc AB is 145. Well, if I knew arc AC, then I know angle Z was the supplement. So, angle Z, we know, is supplementary to arc AC. So, if we found arc AC, we'd be set. Well, angle Y is 48, so then we know that arc CB is 180 minus 48, or 132. So arc CB plus arc AB plus arc AC make up a full circle, so we can find arc AC by simply taking 360 minus 145 minus 132. And once we find arc AC, we will be able to find its supplement. So we're looking at 360 minus 277. Do some quick arithmetic here. And 35 minus 27 is 8. So my arithmetic is correct and I haven't made any errors. We know that that arc is 83 degrees, so these must be supplements, so angle Z must be 97 degrees. So 180 minus 83 is 97. So angle Z, my arithmetic is correct, is 97. Another sample problem you might see, something like this. We're given a couple of circles here, and P and Q are tangent points. We see that um, we've got a, a secant secant angle and a two tangent angle. So once again, we know we've got supplements over here on the left side. So if we could find, you know, angle... you know, Y, A, X, if we could find that angle, then we know it's vertical angle and the supplement. Well, angle A will equal, from our previous knowledge, one half of 126 minus 40. So angle A is equal to one half of 86. So angle A is 43, so our two tangent angle here is 43, and 180 minus 43, we get 137 degrees, so now we know arc PQ is 137 degrees, and that was our goal was to find our PQ, which would be helpful if I'd have had that up there in the first place, but that's what we wanted to do. So that's how we found PQ. We used our a two tangent angle and its intercepted arc, our supplements, and we also used our vertex outside the circle or secant secant angle equals one half of its major arc minus the minor arc. So we'll get some more practice with these theorems when I see you in class.